KJ Cool here. Remember, this is the fake news where we do the research. I mean, it's just our opinions, isn't it, guys? Gosh, let's go. This is a trigger warning for anyone that suffers from snowflake items. Hi, guys. Remember, five weeks ago, it was breaking news that Gabby Petito had gone missing? Well, the saga has finally ended today with them finding her fiancé's remains. He did kill her and he strangled her to death and he ran and he ran until he either ended it himself or a gator did. I tend to feel a gator got him because he was in Florida wetlands where there was just gators everywhere. He may have got injured and the gators all just surrounded him. Who knows? We're going to find out in the future, but the thing is, I'm really tired of hearing people say, Oh my God, oh, he's dead. Oh, we wanted justice. Think straight here, people. The ultimate justice is death. I mean, what, what do you want? You want to watch years of court cases? I mean, think about his family. Think about her family. Do they really need to sit for years being tortured? Because they're the only ones alive and they didn't do this. Nobody needs to sit in court for years. Gabby's justice was them finding him. Now, Brian's family's justice is that they've lost him. So think logically. He is gone. She is gone. But they're not going to be in the same places. Gabby was an innocent soul who didn't deserve any of this. Brian was a tortured soul who could not handle his madness. And today he was found. And everyone's still questioning if it's his remains and the parents had something to do with it. I mean, it's time to let it go, everyone. I just thought I'd make a video showing all the art that he'd done because he was a very tortured soul and he was hiding behind a fake personality. Because when you look at his art, a lot of it, it's gruesome and dark. That doesn't matter. That, that doesn't indicate a person is going to kill someone. But he copied a lot and he was a copy cat. And he was a very, very tortured dark soul who ended someone's life and in the end his life is ended so everyone be happy that we have a conclusion that he was found don't keep wishing for a trial there's enough sadness in our world and i'll tell you right now gabby petito's family did not need to sit through a trial now he has left a notebook in a wet pack i believe in this notebook it will discuss what has happened it will either have drawings or it will have some meaning and i'm sure it will probably even have a suicide note he was very calculated in everything he did and you'll see when you see his drawings he is like a perfectionist and life is not perfect that's probably what got him in the end because he couldn't handle not being perfect. And when you look at some of the photographs on his Instagram that aren't his drawings, just remember, he thinks he's a tiny ant compared to the world. But anyway, I thought that this song was very apt. And I want to say, thanks, Kanye. You write some awesome music. But aside from that, I have never been copyright claimed or striked for using his music. And I've probably used his music on five separate videos. And I just think, what an awesome guy. He's told YouTube to get stuffed. Anyone can use my music. And that's why I love you, Kanye. I've loved your music from day one, but I love you even more now. But Kanye, thank you. This song, Run Away, is exactly what Brian did. He tried to run away. And I always said from day one, it doesn't matter whether he's sitting in an island in the Bahamas or he's dead. This pain and what he did will never, ever leave him. And his family, they didn't know how to handle it. They didn't have a clue. How does anyone handle their son or daughter becoming a murderer? I don't think anyone can answer that unless they're in it. Yeah, they did things wrong. We all saw that. But once again, they had no, they had no training in how to deal with it. And if they're already weird, strange people that hide things, well, that's what they were going to do. And I do believe they hid things. But in the end, it looks like they came clean because they went into that reserve and under an hour they found him. So there you go. They probably now have immunity and will not be charged accordingly. But at the end of the day, huge tragedy did happen to many, many people, both sides. I find it interesting that Brian copies nearly all of his art, almost traces it, but he's taken so many cute cartoons like The Simpsons, Adventure Time, all these different cartoons and made them dark or evil in some way, which indicates to me that he is hiding behind this persona of a friendly gentleman, nice guy, but underneath there is a deep darkness and we know that now 
that it was untamed. It, whether it was a mental illness or whether he he was a sociopath, we don't really know. His parents would be able to answer that. Let's look into his art right now. Fast as you can Find pictures in my email I sent this girl a picture of my hey. I don't know what it is with females But I'm not too good at that hey. See I can have me a good girl And still be addicted to them hood rats. And I just blame everything on you At least you know that's what I'm good at Find, yeah, I always find, yeah, I always find something wrong You've been putting up with my this just way too long I'm so gifted at finding what I don't like the most So I think it's time for us to have a toast Let's have a toast for the douchebags Let's have a toast for the Let's have a toast for the scumbags Every one of them that I know Just have a toast for the jerk offs Gotta never take work off Baby, I got a plan Run away fast as you can Run away from the baby Run away Run away from me, baby
there you go there's most of his art i found on instagram and pinterest so it was pretty dark this one in particular i don't believe he has copied let me know if it is a piece of art that's already out there but this is his very own art and man it's dark it's about killing someone. It's uh, not the greatest with what we know. This is lino cutting and lino cutting is very visceral. Like you've got to use your strength to cut into the lino. Like it's not just like drawing. But remember, art uh, is connected to a part of your brain where you're just dealing with emotions. It's not academic. You're not thinking of words. So this is what's coming out of him. Now, if he never became a murderer or, or anything like this, then this art is just what it is but he became that and all he read was books on serial killers he flooded his brain with dark matter and we got a glimpse of it when he did get pulled over four weeks before by the police and Gabby is hysterical and he's very calm cool and collected he's even smiling with the police he doesn't seem stressed out he just seems like oh my god I've got to keep pretending that I'm a cool chilled dude when in actual fact he's not but he did fool the police and if he hadn't have fooled the police it could have been a completely different story and outcome which is tragic and I think that's what caught the world's eyes the tragedy that we saw unfolding it's very rare that we see a tragedy unfolding as fast as this one with actual footage of the guy that killed the girl his art that he draws on his own like this second one here it's very ghoulish and he must have felt like a ghoul inside i don't believe he was an evil devil man i believe he had some very dark thoughts probably due to mental illness. Once again, I'm not a psychologist or a doctor with a degree, but these are just my thoughts on what I have seen. I have met people like him and they're sociopaths generally, narcissists, and they're very, very, very good at pretending to be another person because inside they're constantly struggling with the darkness and they tend to go to people and be attracted to people that are gorgeous and have a beautiful spirit and soul like Gabby did. And it's like a moth being attracted to the light. Gabby was the light and he was the moth and he felt like in being around Gabby it made him a better person but deep down he was never going to believe he was a good person because for some reason he was dark whether his family and the way he was brought up was like that whether he was abused we don't know all these questions but we do know the outcome and the outcome's not great you know people want to blame the cops they want to blame the laundry family they want to blame the fbi it's like enough with all the blaming it is what it is and it's happened and you can look back in hindsight and go oh you could have done better well that's with every situation i just think this situation is so sad and so tragic it could have been avoided but in looking at his art why didn't anyone ever question him like dude why are you why are you drawing all this darkness all the time maybe gabby did and he didn't like it we'll never know but all i am hoping is is in that notebook that they found he has written a full story on why he has done this in his own words and maybe a suicide note i'm hoping for that for some closure for both families you rest in peace beautiful gabby you were gone too soon and here is one picture i found of gabby's that she'd drawn and it speaks volumes of being lost sad confused which is what a lot of young people feel when they're in their first serious relationships. I know everyone wants to hate Brian and hate his family. I understand that, but nobody made Gabby be with him. She wanted to be with him and that was her downfall. And his downfall was to never get the help he obviously needed. So we just all got to say bless up to the fams because they got a lot of shit to deal with from now on. Looking at her last Instagram post, look how happy she was. She wasn't tortured. She was just in a very volatile, toxic relationship, which most people have been in one at one point of their lives. And when people get in these relationships, they're incredibly embarrassed to talk about it to family or friends. I've been in one and you as the victim feel very embarrassed that someone is treating you like that you as the perpetrator you feel like a crazed maniac that can't control yourself there's two people in there and they're both not well so the lesson you should take from this is to always talk about it don't be ashamed no matter what side you're on whether you're gabby or brian just talk about it get help and realize it can get better 
you don't need to keep living it anyway let this let these families heal the hate needs to stop for brian's family in my opinion and just let love in and bless up thanks guys anyways i love you guys thanks for watching and remember use all your jazzy little hands over all the jazzy little buttons because you know it makes one little koala really really happy and if you sub please let me know because i want to send you 50 years of free good vibes i mean these days that is a bloody bargain cheers ballers brr, brr. i don't care about Thank you see the things you want to know when you look at me. God knows I have been through and paid my dues. Can't you have been here? Know this on you. Oh, you got? Oh, oh, could be a little yeah. bit more upfront. Way the situation, how you want The loving that you claim is just a four letter word The third letter's in Titan, so visualize the curve You curved all the people when you're handling the candle out So you're sitting on a big brand Transmitting like you meet a man But you see a funny face like a chick When I see you, I'ma tell you quick that, uh Ain't all good That's true Things ain't going like they should It's all on you It ain't all good That's true Things ain't going like they should